Hey everyone, welcome to the ATX VGC Monday Night Friendlies. Uh, my name is uh, Gemma, I also go by Gems VGC, and I'm joined tonight with my co-host uh, Chase. Hello, uh, I go by Tiki. Yeah, and uh, tonight, um, oh hey Santacos, thanks for the follow. Um, tonight we'll be featuring uh, our best of three uh, in our continued series of the Monday Night Friendlies. Uh, our first matchup is actually going to be um, Justin Snores versus Will, and that's going to be on Showdown because we're short a capture card. And then uh, the second battle will be myself versus Sam Tacos, who just followed. Um, followed up with our final match uh, with Tiki versus Amy. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for coming out. Um, this uh, these Monday Night Friendlies have been a really fun extension of our, our local Austin, Texas BGC scene, and we're really excited that we've been able to kind of continue them um, despite uh, you know being in a position where we're social distancing during quarantine. So. All right. So as we can see here, uh, we've got um, <laughs> we've got our two players. We got Justin and Will. Uh, so what do you see right off the bat here, Tiki? Um, I see from Justin's team. Uh, I see a lot of things that like to use priority with also a Psychic Terrain user, which is interesting with like the Sableye and the Talent Plane both wanting to use the priority moves, uh, which are blocked by Psychic Terrain. Yeah, that is really interesting. The fact that um, you've got Gale Wings uh, on the Talon Flame as well as um, Sableye's Prankster moves. Um, yeah, I, I suppose if you're using Sableye for things like weather, then that's not as much of a concern um, in, under Psychic Terrain, and it's possible that Justin just doesn't bring the Psychic Terrain at the same time that he brings uh, some of the other uh, modes of this team. Yeah. And we see from Will his standard six water type rain team <laughs> with his um, patented physical tentacruel and double shell smash. <laughs> Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, I mean, it looks like we are going to see it is all shiny, similar to his on cartridge team. <laughs> <laughs> so these leads right here, we've got um, the Porygon Z and Sableye against the Tentacruel and the Gyarados. Uh, what do you think about the leads here? Well, um, I'm not ex exactly sure what can take a max strike from Porygon. Yeah. <laughs> on this entire team. <laughs> Yeah, looking at Will's team, um, it's been pretty decent against physical types, but a special attacker that hits as hard as Porygon Z, um, I'm, I'm interested to see what he might pull out, but uh, that Porygon Z is pretty free to just max and go for a max strike. Um, yeah. I think we might see like a trick into the Gyarados in a max strike, um, potentially. It could just be Quash into Gyarados as well, but I... Oh, a helping hand. Yeah, um, we see helping hand. Nothing is living this. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, so the, through the double protect there, uh, we do see Gyarados takes just about half. Um, that is so strong. Yeah. Hey, uh, Tiki, are you logged into the uh, ATX VGC uh, account, or are you watching this on stream? I'm watching. I need to switch over to okay. the account. Yeah. Uh, I'll also just invite you to this, which okay. I'm going to invite that one alt that I usually invite. Okay, okay I just logged in. Yeah, so here we see, um, right there, we see a Will-O-Wisp go into uh, that Tentacruel, which avoids the attack, and a Max Strike just obliterates the, the uh, Gyarados. Uh, interesting to see from Will here coming a double Intimidate against a team. Uh, you know, it would look pretty good into that Cinderace, but oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, this Max Strike's just going to continue to roll through yeah. Will's team. Uh, I mean, with this Cloyster being Focus Sash, and um, oh, I guess it really doesn't matter if the Sableye has Quash. Yeah, the, having the without the Sableye off the field, it's pretty hard to do a whole lot. That Tentacruel has kind of sat there. It's now at um, incredibly slow at, um, you know, minus three speed, I believe. And um, I'm not quite sure what it's going to be able to do. I know that it likes to bulk up its physical defenses, but in the, in the face of a Porygon Z, that's not going to help a ton. Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything like Will really can adjust to either in a game two because nothing stops the Porygon. 
Yeah, yeah, that, uh, it's been fun to see Will use this, uh, mono rain, but <laughs> the Hyper Beam and the Will Wisp, so despite that focus sash, the Will Wisp will just go ahead and bring that Cloister down through the, uh, through its focus sash, so, uh, unfortunately, that kind of felt like the one option that maybe Will had, but. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a tough position to be in when you have no normal resists and um, really nothing with good special bulk, so I'm not sure what the best play is. Yeah, he's going to get an attack off into that Porygon uh, Z. He is going to go ahead and take off uh, one attack, so that's nice. Uh, he'll, he'll, it's not a it's not a 4-0, um, but now this, uh, <laughs> this Togekiss comes in and it gets to just kind of click Air Slash. Um, oh! We do ah. see the crit there. Uh, we, we might see... Uh, uh, we might see the tentacle come back. Maybe the tentacle is the answer for game two. Uh, I don't think so, though. Yeah, it does manage to take out the Togekiss, which is interesting to see that was weakness policy Togekiss. Uh, normally a Pokemon that wants to max, but um, obviously on a team with Porygon Z, Porygon Z is such a better... Um, <laughs> such a, So much of a better option. Yeah. Yeah, and we just see the the helping hand, um, or sorry, the uh, the quash and iron head. Quash come out. iron head play. Yeah, sorry, it's a little harder to see in showdown in the view that I've got. I should probably just be looking at the actual showdown rather than our <laughs> overlay. Um, so yeah, that's game one. Uh, give us one second while we grab game two. But uh, what what do you think are um, the the adjustments that um, Will is going to be able to make here in this game two? Um, I'm not particularly sure there is one is the problem. Um, especially with things such as the, like, the Porygon's max strike dropping the speed along with just taking a KO every turn. Um, paired with, like, even if there is a Swift Swim user on the team, like, paired with the Quash, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm really not sure what, like, stops Porygon 2 plus Sableye, which we do see again as the lead. Yeah, that's the lead again. Um, so this time we see the Cloister Blastoise mode of this team. Uh, two, shell, two Shell Smash Pokemon. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't think they're going to really get a chance to use that uh, into uh, facing down that yeah. Porygon Z. I think they're both clicking Shell Smash this turn, though, to be honest. Yeah, just whichever one it doesn't take out, uh, have a shot at being able to do some damage. So that Cloister gets burnt, Blastoise goes down. Uh, and now Cloyster's got that uh, Focus Sash broken. And we'll just see a Quash and Max Strike into that Cloyster. Yeah. And it's just, it's really hard when you don't have a Steel type or a Ghost type or a Rock type to deal with Porygon when there's no Tyranitar on the team or something of that sort. You just really can't do anything, even especially with nothing that outspeeds it either. Yeah, it, yeah, nothing that naturally outspeeds it. And once it gets a couple of, uh, once it gets a few of those max strikes down, you, you can't out shell smash it away. Um, at this point, you know, Cloyster is a paper bag without its focus sash, so the the smallest hit will probably take that down. Yeah, I assume we'll see like a quash and a um, max strike into the Cloyster, and um, that'll be the end of it. Um, I guess we could see the Gyarados go for an airstream, but that even is like maybe going to two it KO the Porygon, but then it just gets quashed the next turn, so. Yeah, this is just an incredibly oppressive lead of uh, Sableye Porygon, two, Porygon Z, I should say, sorry. Um, what we're seeing, I think, here is uh, <laughs> you can't not have an answer to Porygon Z on your team. Like, uh, run, running Monotype is definitely fun, but uh, <laughs> yeah. if it's not Mono, Steel, or Normal, you're going to really... <laughs> or uh, Steel or Rock, you're going to struggle against P uh, PZ. So, I mean... I think Will is thinking hard of something he can do here, but it, there just might not be anything. Yeah. Yeah. We do see the Max come out from the Gyarados. Uh, the Quash will delay that Cloyster's attack, and it's not going <laughs> to... Yeah. Not going to yeah. get a chance. Uh, so it does look like that is a two-hit KO uh, coming from the uh, Gyarados, the Max Airstream. Um, but I, does it live a Max Strike? <laughs> from Porygon Z here. I, I don't think so. And even if it does, it's not going to survive Max Lightning. Yeah, that's true. Oh. 
And there goes the Pelipper. Yeah, it looks like Justin uh, accurately reads into that max guard there. Uh, it felt like maybe Will's play could have been potentially going for a... Uh... Oh, the, it does live the Hyper Beam. It's gonna... Wow, that, maybe that was the answer all along. <laughs> the... But even then, like, it wasn't even a Life Orb Porygon, so you couldn't, like, chip it down with, like... Life Orb chip, so I don't even know what there was, yeah. And then Quash Expanding Force here will just end game two. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, in the face of that, uh, Sableye, you really have to have an answer. Um, but that w wraps up our uh, our very first uh, game that we've ever featured here on Showdown. Um, it's much faster, it moves a lot better, uh, it moves a lot faster, but we don't get the cool animations. Yeah, for sure. Uh, hey, thanks for watching. If you liked these videos, make sure to like and subscribe so you can see more of our content. And if you want to join us for our ATX VGC friendlies, uh, check us out over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash ATX underscore VGC. We go live every Monday for these friendlies around 7 p.m. Central.